Hey there, this is Corey again with his Project Water Cooled. Uh, this is my own personal computer. Uh, see what I can do on my first water build. Uh, this chassis is uh, returned from the nickel platers, and I'm checking it over, showing it to you guys. All the grills are also done in nickel plating, and the back, uh, all the back except for the outer doors and the front plastic were all dipped in nickel. These are the front sides, backs, it's all the pieces that you uh, will use to assemble your chassis. This is the top upper chassis uh, for the drive bays, which are no longer part of uh, Drive Bay Central. It is going to be housing other pieces. This bottom chassis here uh, will be, the assembly will be uh, used for housing both the solid state drive and the one terabyte uh, mechanical drive. First, clean all your parts. Make sure they're all nice and clean because when you assemble them, uh, no matter what you do, fingerprints will always show on nickel, but if you clean it off, you'll get all the residue from uh, whatever manufacturing process they use uh, to plate this with nickel. Now, when you're finished washing your chassis, make sure it's nice and clean. You want to put it together with something. Uh, nuts and bolts, washers, they all work. Rivets is what comes from the factory, but if you have a choice, I personally like the uh, brass rivets. They're very pretty to use on a nickel chassis. This is my assembly. Hope you guys enjoy.
Now that we've finished riveting, we can go ahead and put a gasket around all the edges that the hose may come in contact with. This is a U-style gasket, and I will have the link for this uh, in the description of this video. When you do this, this will be a two-stage process. The first stage is this uh, nice, small, flexible gasket. On the later stage, we'll be adding 3 8 inner diameter hose cut in half and uh, made to straddle all the edges that the hose will come in contact with. It's just a uh, backup just in case, you know, something moves or if the hose gets cut, uh, this will prevent it in twofold. Here are my water manifolds. PackSupply.com. It's a three-way manifold, uh, two half-inch in, three half-inch out, and a one-inch manifold in between. Here's some feet I picked up from MNPC Tech. Uh, I put on some copper uh, risers to lift the chassis to a height that I needed to fit the bottom one or water manifold. So I have enough room in the chassis itself to have a visual display and not to load it up with you know, valves and tubes. Here's the bottom water manifold, and here's how it fits on the bottom of the chassis. It'll come through the chassis. This is where uh, the gasket protects it. This is a good tip for you guys. Uh, take a cup of water, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and put the end of your hose into the water. Uh, let it sit there for a couple seconds, and push it onto the fitting. It will slide right on. It is such an easy tip. Remember to securely fasten your hose so it does not move. And the rubber gasket will help it from not being cut into pieces. Quarter turn valves and my pump. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Uh, I will be uh, putting up a third part soon. Thank you very much.